automakers are making big commitments to electrified cars. That probably just means electric cars, right? No. Electrified and electric mean two different things, very different things. An electrified car is simply one that has some kind of electric motor, but it could also have a traditional gasoline engine too. Let me draw it out for you. This big circle is electrified vehicles. This smaller circle is electric vehicles. For electric cars, think Tesla or the Nissan Leaf. These vehicles run on electricity and nothing else. But there are others in that big circle too. There are plug-in hybrids, for instance, like the Chevy Volt or the Chrysler Pacifica hybrid minivan. These vehicles plug in and can run on pure electricity for some distance, then switch over to a gasoline engine. There are also regular hybrids, like the common Toyota Prius. These vehicles have electric motors and batteries, but they never get plugged in. They're very fuel efficient and can even run on pure electricity for short distances, but all that power is ultimately generated by the car's own internal combustion engine. And finally, there are so-called mild hybrids. Right now, there aren't many of these on the market. Mild hybrids can't drive on electricity alone, even at low speeds, but they can shut down their gasoline engines when the car is stopped, or even when it's coasting. Not all cars that shut down their engines at stop signs are mild hybrids. Most aren't. In a mild hybrid, the electric motor offers at least a little help to the gasoline engine. It just isn't strong enough to drive the car all by itself. So when car companies like Volvo or even entire countries talk about selling electrified vehicles, they're really talking about all this stuff. Don't think they're going all electric. They're probably not.